When I think of the holidays, I think of the reasons why we get together to celebrate. And this is indeed one of those special celebrations for our school community. In addition to the families that we have here, we are thrilled and blessed to have our alums return to celebrate with us. Tonight is a special occasion because we have asked to rejoin us a member of our community who for 20 years before he retired last year gave of himself to our school community with his work in our performing arts vocal music program. Tonight as guest director and to introduce our next two songs, I'd like to introduce and welcome back Mr. John Lovestead. Thank you very much. It's a, in indeed a very warm welcome. And I, the last time I conducted these students on this stage was a year ago tonight. And I didn't know at that time it would be my last time. But tonight I do realize that fact. And I would like to thank the school administration and Mr. Foley for a lot. To come back, thank you, tonight to conduct one last time, I, I certainly do appreciate this gesture. I have missed these students very much, and if you would indulge me just for a few seconds, I'd like to turn around and face them because I've seen them from the audience, but this is, I'm a little closer to them just to say hello personally. I would also like to say it's, it's an honor to, in some very small way, <laughs> it is an honor in a small way to once again be on a concert with Deborah Anderson and Faith Trent, two excellent music teachers that our school is very proud of. Some of you may not know, but I was Deborah Anderson's high school choir director. <laughs> and it's, it's good to be here again in a program that they have something to do with. I'm also very glad that my sister and my mother are able to be here tonight. And as I was sitting in the audience, a vantage point that I haven't had for a long time, I, I looked at this stage in this uh, beautiful building in which no matter where you sit, you have a very good view of the stage. I hope that our community never takes this building for granted. I remember all too well what it was like to do concerts and musicals in the gymnasium to try to turn the gymnasium into a a performing center, a concert hall. We tried very hard, but it never quite worked. And then all of a sudden, this building was built. And I conducted the first concert on this stage in 1980. We're so fortunate to have this building. I hope that the students never take this place for granted. It really is a wonderful facility. And I got to see it from a different vantage point tonight. I would also like to thank the 
the audience, the parents, the faculty, the alumni. For many years, from my vantage point, with the lights in my eyes, you have always been a anonymous, sort of faceless group of people in the dark. But you have always sent forth such applause and love and uh, appreciation and support. And over the years, the members of the audience changed, but the attitude coming from the community up on stage for students to appreciate has never changed. So thank you very, very much for 20 years of being here, not only for the students, but for me too. I do appreciate that. And of course, it is uh, bittersweet to turn to Nancy Elliott and give her a downbeat. Because Nancy and I have teamed up for such a long time, not only on this stage, but in the classroom every day. We've also, over the years, become best friends. And thank you very much, Nancy, for everything. And I will indeed give you another downbeat. And finally, in 19, the, the Pembroke Country Day School class of 77 was a very special group of, of young men. They were the first class that I taught here, and they were so excited about Glee Club. I was very fortunate to walk into a school with a senior class that was so dedicated to singing. And at the holiday program, which, by, which back in those days was done at the Nelson Art Gallery, the winter song was one of their favorite pieces. And they said on that evening, is this the last time we're ever going to get to sing that song? And I said, well, why don't you come back next year as freshmen from college, and I'll invite you up on stage, and you can sing with us. And it is the class of 77 from Pembroke Country Day School that gave rise to this tradition of inviting the alumni on stage. I, I would be very honored if there were some people in this audience from that class tonight, because it all began with them. Pembroke Hill School is steeped in tradition. I've always felt that tradition is what keeps a school very strong, because it signifies a rite of passage that students enjoy seeing when they grow up, seeing other students do what they once did. And the choir has, ha has many, many traditions. And I think inviting the alumni on stage has become one of the most popular traditions of this school. And at the, when the two schools merged, we then started to sing a song called Peace, Peace, which obviously included the women as well as the men. It is a very special occasion tonight for me. And I would like at this time to invite any and all alumni of the school and if the stage gets filled, please just fill in the center. I, I hope tonight that we don't have to have anyone standing out in the wings where it's dark, because I would like to see you. I would like to have the audience see you to welcome you home. Please fill in the center. And after we sing, I hope that you will all come upstairs to see me, and I can talk to you personally in the dining room. So at this time, can we have the alumni please come up on stage?
thank you very much for coming tonight. One alumni came up and said, where, the, where do the first tenders stand? Um, <laughs> this is really overwhelming. Uh, there has never been this many on stage before. Not only where do the first tenders stand, but the winter song is for the men only, and it seems like we have men just everywhere. It's too bad I'm not even quite 5'8", because I, <laughs> I don't know how everyone will see me. But tonight, it doesn't, we're not judging this at all on its <laughs> musical merit. It just doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is for these people to be here and sing. Nancy, um, <laughs> I think the thing to do, oh, there's some, you give us, just, no, that's your okay. Men, wherever you are, Nancy will just give the opening pitch. I will count three. One, two, three, then it's, oh, a song. <laughs> I'll give you three. One, two, three. Oh, a song by the fire, past the pipes, past the bow. Oh, a song by the fire, with the skull, with the skull. Oh, a song by the fire, past the pipes, with the skull. Oh, the wolf wind is wailing at the door. Stones are marching from the Norways, and the great white wall walks abroad. Zoom, 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 zoom. Forty years by the fire, three big fires of the storm. Zoom, a hot, we are warm, and we have our heart's desire. Zoom, for here we the devils, and the beastwood, and the bellows, and the compass, and the lip.
a brief presentation from Daniel. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of the choir and, and everybody who's here. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to, uh, to talk to Mr. Lovestead uh, just on, on behalf of all the, the choir and the alumni here. Um, and we just wanted to tell you that we've been looking forward to this night ever since you left, and we've been thinking about you ever since the night you left. And uh, all the memories that we've shared with you really have a special place in all our hearts, and we really enjoyed being, being able to, uh, you know, having you teach us and being able to sing with you. And we just wanted to thank you for your 20 years of continued dedication to the school and uh, everything that you've done for all the students uh, here. So anyway, Cooper is supposed to be here, but he didn't make it. Oh, there he is. I'd like to ask the alums to please return to their seats. We'll do our closing song, and please join us for a reception for Mr. Lovestead in the dining room after our program.